Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Plus Plus. Last time we started our playlist with sorting algorithms. In today's topic, we are going to start with quicksort algorithm. What is quicksort? Quicksort is an efficient sorting algorithm. It works on a divide and conquer principle. It is based on partitioning an array of data into smaller arrays. A large array is partitioned into two arrays. An element from the array is picked as a pivot. After partitioning, the first array holds elements less than the pivot and second array holds elements greater than the pivot. So, in which ways pivot can be picked from the array? First, pick the first element as a pivot. Second, pick the last element as a pivot. Third, pick a random element as a pivot or you can pick a median as a pivot. The key process in quicksort is pivot and partition. So, let's look at the steps involved in quicksort algorithm. Step 1. Make the leftmost index value as a pivot. Step 2. Partition the array using pivot value. Step 3. Quicksort left partition recursively. Step 4. Quicksort right partition recursively. Step 5. Merge the arrays. Now let's have a look at the algorithm. The quicksort function accepts two parameters, leftmost position of the array and the rightmost position of the array. Next, we check if the difference between right and left position is less than or equal to zero. If condition is true, we will stop execution. If not, we set the leftmost element of array as pivot. Next, we partition the array into two parts. For that, we are passing three parameters, the leftmost position, the rightmost position of the array and the pivot. Using pivot, we will compare each element of the array with the pivot and partition the array into two. We will put all the elements that are less than pivot in a separate array and rest all in another array. Then the function will call itself repeatedly till all the elements of the list are partitioned. In the end, we combine all the partitions which result into a sorted array. This is how divide and conquer approach works in quicksort algorithm. Let's take an example of an array consisting of elements 5, 3, 6, 2, 4 and 1. As we know here, length of the array will be 5 cause array is iterated from 0. Example of quicksort. We have elements 5, 3, 6, 2, 4 and 1 which we need to sort using quicksort algorithm. For that, first we need to determine the pivot and how the pivot is to be selected. Here we are taking the first element of the array as a pivot. We have marked the pivot elements in yellow and previous pivot elements in blue. Initially the pivot here is 5. Now we compare all the elements with our pivot and partition the array as mentioned. For that, we put all elements that are less than the pivot in first partition and rest all in second partition. For example, first we compare 3 with 5. Since 3 is less than 5, we will put it in the left partition. Next, we compare 6 with 5. Since 6 is greater than 5, we will put it in the right partition. Eventually, we have 3, 2, 4 and 1 in first partition and 6 in second partition. In the next pass, we again determine pivot for the two partitions separately. For the left partition, pivot is 3 since it is the first element of partition. Similarly, the second partition will take the first element as a pivot. Now there is only one element at the right partition, so we do not perform any operation on it. Considering the left partition, elements less than our pivot 3 will be partitioned into first array which here we got 2 and 1. Elements which are greater than 3 will be partitioned into second array which here we got 4. Again we follow the same steps of determining the pivot as first element of the array and then partitioning the array. Here considering 2 and 1, our pivot will be 2. Again, we will partition the array since 1 is less than 2. We have 1 in first left partition and 2 at the right partition. Similarly, we follow same steps of partitioning till we get distinctive elements in the partition. On combining these partitions, we get a sorted array. Now, let's have a look at the Java code of quicksort. Main method. Here, we are defining an array of elements 5, 3, 6, 2, 4 and 1 and we are storing it in variable list. Then we are storing a length of a list in variable length. Then here, we are creating an instance of a class using object QS. With QS, we are calling the quicksort method. And then here, we are printing a sorted array. Now, let's see what the quicksort function does. Here, quicksort function is taking three parameters, which are array, the leftmost position of the array and rightmost position of the array. Then we are checking whether left is less than right or not. If yes, then we are calling the partition function. Now let's see what partition function does. It takes three parameters which are array, leftmost position of array and the rightmost position of the array. Then in this code we have taken a pivot as the rightmost element. So here we are defining pivot as array of right. 
which is the rightmost element of an array which in our case is 1. We are also initializing i with index of left minus 1. Then we are taking for loop with iterator j starting from the leftmost position. So this loop will move from left to right. Next we check whether the element at jth position is less than the pivot or not. If yes, then we increment i and perform a swapping operation to swap the numbers. Here we are moving all the numbers which are less than pivot to the left. After completion of for loop, we perform swapping in such a manner that we are placing the pivot at such a position where all the numbers to its right are greater than the pivot and the numbers to its left are smaller than the pivot. As we can see in our case, since 1 was the pivot and all other numbers were greater than 1 and there is no number which is smaller than 1. So we have placed 1 in the 0th position as you can see here and we can see that all the numbers which are greater than 1 are to the right of 1. After this we are returning the new position of our pivot and so now int pivot underscore q now has a value 0. Then we are again calling the quicksort function and taking leftmost position starting from 0 and right position as pivot underscore q minus 1 with parameters that are the array 0 as the left position and pivot underscore q minus 1 which is 0 minus 1 which equals to minus 1 as rightmost position. Here we are checking if left is less than right or not that is 0 less than minus 1 which is false hence we do not perform any action. To sort the elements at the right partition of our array, we again call quicksort function, starting from the next element of the pivot to the rightmost position of the partition, which in our case is left is equal to pivot plus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1 which equals to 1 and right equals to 5, which covers the elements 3, 6, 2, 4 and 5. Again we have to perform partition operation on this. For partition we take the pivot as the rightmost element which is now 5. Then again we compare all the elements with phi and then move the elements which are smaller than phi to the left of phi and again place our pivot in such a position that all the elements which are smaller than phi are at the left of phi and elements which are greater than phi are at the right of phi. So now here as you can see we have two partitions. In first we have elements 3, 2 and 4 and in second we have a single element which is 6. So now the position of pivot q will be 4. Now again we call quicksort function for our left and right partition. Similarly we recursively call quicksort function till all elements are partitioned. In the end result is a sorted error. You can find the detailed notes for quicksort and its code in the description box below. Let's discuss complexities of quicksort algorithm. Worst case time complexity is big of n square. Best case time complexity is big of n log n. Best case occurs when partitioning leads to almost equal subarrays. Then we can say that the running time is the best, with time complexity as big of n log n. Average time complexity is big of n log n and space complexity is also big of n log n. Thank you for watching our video, next on our list will be heap sort. So stay tuned with us, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever we come up with a new video.